I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and naturally after I just bought a Fitbit Versa smartwatch, uh, Fitbit re announced the Versa 2. This was about a week ago. So this is an update to the original Versa watch, and now it adds um, some additional smartwatch capabilities um, to their lineup. So let's take a look, um, just initial impressions of what this has versus the, Versa, uh, the original Versa and also the Ionic smartwatch. So, you know, first off, um, it has a woven band. So one of the things that I complained about a little bit with the Versa watch is that the band is relatively low quality, I think, um, on the stock band that comes with the watch. And that's because they want you to upgrade. They offer a lot of different band options. So they give you a basic band and want you to buy a better one. Um, for this, they've actually included a, one nice band, and one classic band with the watch. And then, of course, you can still buy others if you want to customize uh, further. Um, now let's take a look at the feature set on here. The biggest and most exciting thing I see here is that they've actually built Amazon Alexa service into the watch. So you can actually talk to your watch um, and using that voice recognition, you're able to ask Alexa for things just like you would at home. So this really kind of closes the loop on Alexa. She's with you literally on your wrist um, all the time, 24 hours a day. Very exciting, I think, because this allows home automation, device control, from your wrist. Um, it allows, you know, everything that I've shown that you can do with Alexa. And I have a lot of videos about Alexa and the different Amazon Echo devices. So um, I, I may have to get one of these, even though I just bought Versa, just to test this feature out, because that's a very exciting change. Uh, otherwise, you know, it seems like it's just incremental improvements for the most part. Fitbit Pay, this is offered on the, uh, the Versa and even on their lower end wristband style watches. Um, music, sleep score, which they just rolled out. Um, I just did a video about that. Um, and I beta tested that with Fitbit earlier. It's a really great feature available on several of their watches. Smartphone notifications, apps, you know, basic kinds of stuff. Um, longer battery life, that's probably one of the incremental improvements. My, my Versa gets probably three to four days, uh, maybe a little bit less depending on how I'm using it. So a little bit better there. Um, it's waterproof. It does the same phone pair GPS tracking, but doesn't have its own GPS chip like the Ionic would. Um, you know, otherwise, I'll, I'll look into this in a bit more detail when they have a full set of specs uh, released. But, you know, it seems like a better screen um, and some other battery life improvements, improved watch band, that kind of thing. Styling looks pretty similar. The biggest thing, though, is this announcement of uh, the Amazon Alexa pairing. Very exciting, something I definitely want to continue to check out. Uh, if you found this helpful in any way or you want to follow what I do with the Versa or hopefully the Versa 2, Please subscribe to my channel, it really helps.